Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back to my channel. Thursday, November 21st, 2019. All right, so now that Mercury has begun to go forward, a lot of people, which will happen, know that a lot of people will say, oh my God, so-and-so has changed so much. I don't even recognize him, her. So they will say, I changed a lot. And your response will be, a lot changed me. And let's say thank God for that, right? Because once you change and you realize that you've changed, you've grown, your soul has grown, many have ascended into a new understanding of self, by which no more karmic repeated cycles occur. Because it's not the lesson for others to learn, it's the lesson for ourselves to learn. And that's what's changed. We are now having a sacred convergence, if you will. Okay? All we need to do is stay grounded. All right, let's go. Oh, no, no, let's try it again. Make sure. We always want to make sure. Yes. Introspection. A time of settling into self. Sacred convergence, right? Going within. Learning to trust. The hermit's eyes are closed. Not just because the hermit's in meditation mode, which, of course, this is like Moses who went to the mount, right? And came back a wise one, hair all white, with the knowledge and the direction from, from God. So, introspection for sure, okay? Going within and needing time for yourself, however you see fit, but not, but also using your intuition, knowing that this is, it's time to, to do that. Because why? You're fighting against yourself. You're fighting against, and that's why you need the peace and quiet and resolve. That's huge. So no more fighting against self. Allow and just let it be. Into your heart. This is the Palace of Cups, which is the heart center. That's how I, I look at this as the heart center, right? And what's in the middle of the hermit and the heart center, right? Going within. In the middle is this fighting against the self of like fear-based mentality, right? So let's keep it real and let's resolve to not need to do anything except silence your mind and stay grounded and within self, which will balance you. The yang and the yang, right? That's yang and yang. That will balance you. So you won't need... So right now, many are going through a convergence. It's a sacred conver convergence of self, which changes one completely, right? No holding back. Now the gifts and the treasures of this... The gifts and the knowledge and the treasure that is coming out from... From within this treasure box is, this is what's coming out now. The treasures from within are coming out, right? One by one, releasing 
releasing all the treasures that you've been given and now moving forward with what peace of mind right peace of mind no longer having to fight against the current you're going within and you're balancing out the yin the yin and the yang and finding peace of mind through this so within the next eight days eight weeks right the process i'm thinking within the next eight to 10 days is how I'm feeling here, right? Now, this is the direct motion moving forward now. This is a progression, okay? The progression of self-love. Giving love to yourself so that you can have peace of mind. Emptying out all that no longer serves you. We've been through that, right? The masks are off. Right? So now we're just giving ourselves time to love again and to bring out the best within us. This is now the best after we've had the had the rest. Now we have the best. We bet the best in self. And this is really and truly a balancing of the yin and yang merging and becoming one. You can see both. Both characters in this card, they're both closed-eyed, right? Believing and trusting in the universe to the point where you don't have to. You just know. You just know that change makes you stronger, right? Changes make you stronger and balanced. And now you can come back to a center of peace and comfort, knowing that you have done a lot of good work on self. I mean, this is huge. When you go within like this and you are having a sacred convergence, no doubt you must really be proud of where you have gotten to. This is not an easy journey. Sometimes this this. Change happens readily, and sometimes it happens just during the course of, you know, one's lifetime. But whatever happens in your lifetime, right? Going within and finding self is part of our mission, part of the journey. The journey is, is not the destination. The, journey, the, the destination is the journey, right? We are not just about, oh my God, I just want to be with someone to be happy. Oh my God, I just want that white picket fence and a family. That's the American dream. This is sacred convergence of yin and yang, masculine and feminine, converging to what? To a new higher self of knowing that you're on a journey that doesn't end. This journey doesn't end. But you grow within your journey, right? You grow and you become whole so that you can then share your gifts with the world. Okay? There's no more holding back. You, The treasure box has opened. There's no more holding back because now we have peace of mind. We're grounded. We become enlightened and we love ourselves. We've gone deep within our heart, mind, body, and soul. Okay? So that's the journey. And that journey never changes. Well, I'm sorry. That journey constantly changes, but again, never changes. The change is the journey. That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Having that journey, making this journey back to this earth plane, that's the journey so that you can grow and partner up. This is still self. Partnering up with self. Yin and yang are now balanced. And that's what we want. We want you to become balanced, whole, 
right? Within self. And then nothing can beat you down. You know, there's no fear. There's only love within your heart. Okay. Okay. Sacred convergence. Alliances. Third eye chakra is telling us to not be negative in our thought process. To consider the... Uh, the going within to get rid of and stop thinking and overly overly obsessing about stuff. Okay, being deluded, not sleeping, poor vision, right? Not seeing things for which they are, right? Which is what. Not needing to see, but to feel how things are. Just feel your way through your heart. And that'll balance you out. So that you can have this convergence now with no problem, right? I mean, it's part of the journey. This is part of the course that one needs to take in order to grow. Their soul is needing to grow. The hermit is your wise self, your higher self speaking to you, telling you this is the journey. This is part of it. So just take it and embrace it with love. And there you go. Now you've done the work. The work is done. Take a bow, seriously. It's not easy. It is not easy. We have three, six, three. Well, we have like four threes here, which is what? The angels. Right? Three, six, three. The six is divided by two, right? So it's two threes. So here's four threes. And what are all the threes about? Well, the threes are all divine this is a sacred convergence, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Okay, whatever you believe, it's here. And you've done the work. Okay. I mean, that's what that is. Again. Again. Same thing. Look. See? Partnering up sacred convergence balancing out yourself, right? So your higher self has come to you to allow you to grow within, right? And you have learned. You've learned that that nothing can, nothing is, nothing in your sphere of life is the destination. It's only the journey. Understand that. It's not, I'll be happy when. It's, I'm happy now, going through each process, each day of change that I have, I have gone through. A lot has changed me now, is what you're going to tell others. Because others are saying, so-and-so changed so much. And you're going to say, that's because a lot has changed me. No longer being the person that, you know, and it's a good thing. Others might not see it as a good thing, right? Others are probably going to what? Look at others. Others want you to stay the same. Come on. A lot of people don't like, don't, it's not like, let me take that back. I digress. It's not that they don't like it. They don't understand it. Because your soul is growing. Your, the, the, this is your guru. This is your higher self talking to you. Within. Not needing, to, you know. This is just your, your higher self saying, here's your journey. This is not, there's never a destination point. You are always learning, growing in love. No more suffering. 
because now we've balanced our, our self. Our self-worth is now worthy of. There's a lot of, of, you know, the way that we say things, there's a lot to be said for that, right? So now it's time to decide which way do we go? Where do we go from here? Many are saying, which way do I go now? What, do I, what am I going to do now? My whole life has changed. What do I do now? Where am I going? What am I doing? Right? Well, you will know when you know. Because you already know. Do you understand that? You already know. It's within you. The power is within you. You have that sacred convergence. Again, your higher self is coming out. Here we go. You have the strength, the courage, the knowledge, the love, the patience to move forward very much in your brave face. This is like, you know, nothing can stop you now. I mean, come on, right? This is, this depicts the end all be all of where we're headed, all of us. We're headed with into a power of love, self-love, self-knowledge, knowing masculine and feminine merging with the hope of a new day, not to worry about what's the plan. Don't worry about what's the plan. Just be mindful, right, of now things are moving forward and changing for many. We're building a stronger foundation within self. That's what the hermit does. We've learned a lot. Look at that mountain. Now our Kundalini is strong, secure, right? Grounded, stable, right? And success. Take a bow. This is not easy. It's not easy. But nothing that is worth changing for because we can't remain the same. There's no way. Many people do. They are unaware. But the bottom line is we're all on the same path. So whether it's not this lifetime or another lifetime, we come here over and over again to become this powerful self-realization, right? And not to undermine anything else but what we're here to do for our soul's growth. Not for anything external, it's internal. Patience, peace of mind. We've already, we planted this seed before we came here. Right? And here again, this was our, this was our decision. This was our choice to take this, to take one of these, you know, one of these elements or all the elements and merge with them. We've merged now with, within self. We've planted new seeds. We have followed a true path of clarity and vision. We are now Kundalini rising, stability, security, safety of self within self. We have now seen the light of a new day. And now we have the sacred convergence of the power of love that merges masculine and feminine energies becoming balanced. Beautiful. So your higher self, you know, is, is, is allowing you to grow, is, is letting you know that this is the plan. This is what every human being has come to the earth plane to do. Whether you know it or not. <laughs> okay. 
So when they say, gosh, so-and-so really changed. Oh my God, I can't even talk to him or her, right? And even if they come to you or someone comes to you or someone writes you and says, gosh, you don't even seem like the same person that you were before, you're going to say, thank you. You're going to say, yeah, a lot changed me. And I'm so grateful for that, you know? Just communicate the truth because you have, you have the power. You've taken your power back through the good grace of love. All right, one card here. Through the grace of love, Saint Germain, we are releasing karma on so many levels, right? Thank God. Thank God Saint Germain here is saying, move beyond the drama, create your own path, which is here, and make room for good energy. And that's what everyone is, is here to do. The earth plane is karmic, yes? The earth plane is karmic. It's the law of karma. So now once you realize it, once you learn it, once you, once you converge with it, you will understand that's where the balance comes in and you own the power. Making, moving beyond, this is the drama, right? Look, here's the drama, right? Now you create your own path. Stand tall, stand firm in your own power. This is now time to make room for the energy coming in that's good. Bottom of the deck, you know what you need to do. Again, psychic insight is all about your higher self is speaking to you. Look, same card. Your higher self, Odin comes in to say, your third eye is open and see truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Well, when you get to be hermit mode, you're definitely closed eyed and following your intuition. You're feeling your way through your heart center and your you are powerful in your own right. Have a great day.